Jesus' name. Bless us in an abundant way. Open your heaven, O Lord, and shower us with the blessing that money cannot buy and the blessing that money can buy. That at the end, O Lord, glory, testimony shall be given unto your name. Thank you, Daddy, for your glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray.
of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. Clap for Jesus. We can give more better clap for Jesus this morning. We lift our up from air. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Be that with us. Hallelujah. Yes.
the Lord. Thank you, Father. Let's close our eyes for prayer. The eternal rock of ages, Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Alpha, the Omega, the beginning and the end, the one that was and is and forever will be. We thank you for how far you have traveled with us from the inception of this church till date. Thank you for the first year. Thank you for the second year. Thank you for the third year. Thank you for the fourth year. Thank you for the fifth year. Thank you for the sixth year. Thank you for the seventh year. And thank you for this eighth year that we are celebrating today. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, we commit the last lap of our celebration into your hand. The Thanksgiving service this morning for the 70 days prayer fasting program and the 8 years anniversary. Father, accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Lord, we commit everything we are going to do from the beginning to the end. Father, come and glorify yourself. Do what only you can do in our midst today. Give us a common testimony. The kind of testimony of come and see. Testimony of how did you do it. The testimony of, of how do you manage to get this. Father, let this be our portion. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Right there where you are, on behalf of our Lord Jesus Christ, the owner of his church, and our Father in the Lord, Dr. D.K. Olukoya, our mommy in the Lord, Pastor Mrs. Shadi Olukoya, and the entire leadership of this great ministry, I welcome you to the last lap of this eight years anniversary. Give Jesus a round of applause. Glory be to the name of the Lord. God has been so faithful to us that he has kept us till this day. It is not by power, nor by might, but by his spirit. Therefore, it deserves all praises and worship. We have not started to worship. That's the first phase. We are going to the second phase. But meanwhile, let's take our aim as we open to the aim number 748. Aim number 748 says, Jesus, my strength, my hope. On thee I cast my care. With humble confidence look up and know that hear, thou hear my prayers. Give me on thee to wait till I can all things do on thee almighty to create, almighty to renew.
praise the Lord. Right there where you are, for a few minutes, I'm going to sing our regular song in MFM Qatar. And I believe God that some of us will remember those songs. And this is very, very important. Amen. The first one we are going to sing is the one we sang for last year's celebration. And it says, Aha. Uh -huh. MFM Qatar is eight years. We are celebrating God's faithfulness. God has been good to us. We will all rejoice and be glad. Oh yes, celebrate. That's the first one. Amen. Amen. Our guys, we are waiting for you. God bless you, sir. So we are going to sing it together. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's go. Praise the Lord. MFM Qatar is a years. We are celebrating God's faithfulness. God has been good to us. We will all realize and be glad.
mighty name we pray. Amen. In one zero five three. In one zero five three. One zero five three. There shall be short blessings. This is the promise of love. There shall be seasons of refreshing sent from the Savior above. Show us a blessing. Show us a blessing we need. Mercy drop around us a falling, but for the shower.
yesterday, when you are grateful to God, there is benefits. There are things you will gain by being grateful to Almighty God. So our testimony minister is right there and you are, whether you have written your testimony, if you are ashamed of Jesus, no problem. You can decide to write your testimony and give it to us. They will share it with the people. But if you are bold enough to say, ah, I will testify to the goodness of God in my life, then see our testimony minister. We are giving us some minutes to do that. Praise the name of the Lord. Share your testimony. Then it comes forward to do the same here. But just within a few minutes, let me recap a little bit where we started from. Beloved, we started this church when I got to this place in 2012, January 23rd. I lodged in an hotel from the hotel to, I think for about one week plus, to Landmark. I stayed in Landmark for a very long time. Every night prayer from 12 to 4. 12 to 4, every night. And then God started to open the door. Praise the Lord. From Landmark to Alwakra, from Alwakra to Asa Stadium, Adwara Compound. That's what was where I live. And then we started a fellowship there too. We had the vigil. I can remember that vigil very well in that particular place. And then of course we traveled again. From there, God took us to Enkalit. When I got to Enkalit, the choir used to do choir practice there. We do programs and everything. By that time, we have already got into KAC, Qatar Gekan Center, in Jerusalem Hall. That's the hall we use. 50 capacity hall. Until it became very shook. I mean, as if it will shook us. And then we began to pray. And God said, He's going to take us to a bigger place. That's how He brought us here. That's a short testimony I'm giving to you. That God has been faithful. And He said, When you are faithful within, with little, it will give you a higher one. God is taking us in this church to a higher ground. I don't know how he's going to do it. But I know that he is faithful that has promised us. He is very faithful. You see, he's so faithful that he can never fail. That's what I discovered about God. So, when you testify to the goodness of God, because I know, let me give you a little bit of background. Some of us, we came to this church, to MFM Qatar, without a wife, without children. But as I'm talking to you today, some have two, some have three. I'm giving you their testimony. So, some, you know, when they came to Qatar, they went through a lot of battles. And God made them to escape. And of course, they brought their wife, and then they started having children. Some have two. Like that. These are testimonies. You understand what I'm saying? But it is better you yourself with your mouth. You say it. Some have been promoted. Some they got a new job. Some are doing this. I know a brother that came to this church. That was the first person I ministered deliverance to. He was doing a job for 3,000. By the time prayer started, because he had a battle. When God cleared that battle away, he got a job of 6,000. From 6,000 to 15,000. From 15,000 to 30,000. That took him out of Qatar. So, God has been faithful in this church. God brought mountain of fire to this to Qatar for this purpose. To set people free. To deliver people. And that's why my father and the Lord is so interested in this church. And he has promised that he's coming again. Praise the Lord. So, by the grace of God, he'll be ministering to us today. But if you have testimony to share with us, you can, you know, Get up now and share your testimony. I'll be waiting here so that the devil will not steal your testimony. That's the reason. The moment you share your testimony, everyone will back you up. They put a seal upon it. And then things began to happen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Please let our testimony minister come forward and hand over the mic to you. God bless you in Jesus' name.
praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Our God is good. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you for this hour as ever. Thanks in the name of Jesus. We so all the testimony yesterday into the pool of the blood of Jesus. They shall bring forth multiple testimonies in our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. And the enemy of our soul shall not steal our testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Our Father has given us a brief importance of why we need to share our testimonies. And I believe by the grace of God, as we are all seated here, we have a testimony indeed. We know what the Lord has done. So we will encourage us to please share your testimony. And as you do so, the Lord will bless you in the name of Jesus. Uh, Sister Florence, please uh, come forward for your testimony. your battle be continually fight for you and your families in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Sister okay. Vanessa. Okay. Let Sister Vanessa come. I have testimony to you. Maybe that will encourage you. Please mind. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. I just want to thank the Lord for what he's done in my school. Um, last week, as you know, uh, it's exam week, we have lots of tests, we have lots of tests and summatives, and I found out that I received a merit award and the highest possible grade. So I just want to thank you. Jesus, the Lord will continually give you anointing of excellence in your studies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Pascal. very well. As if she has dementia, it was resorted to dementia. 
as dementia, I, I don't know what to attribute it to, but we ask God to help us. At the end, God did the miracle. Amen. One day I was discussing with her. I was asking her some questions to know if the level of her recovery. She was telling me that she's now okay. She's better that when she started, the illness started that she never knew what was happening. Even the place that she was taken to, she never knew that she came there. So I give all thanks and all glory to God for healing her. She's okay now to the glory of God. Praise the name of Jesus. Our brothers just thank the Lord for miracle healing for our mother. And I pray as many that are seeking for healing, the Lord will heal you in your various places in the name of Jesus. Brother Celestine.
just appreciate God for his hand moving in his life and killing his problems. I pray that today the land of the Lord will move and he will kill all our problems in the name of Jesus. Amen. Church, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By special grace of God, my name is Brother Valentine. If we, if, we, if we complete this uh, celebration today and I did not come to you know, appreciate God, I think the angels will not be happy. So I'm here standing before you today to appreciate God. I always remember, if not God, I will not be alive today. To be precise, in 2010, when I was about to come to Qatar, I've gotten my visa. I have fixed a date. I've bought a ticket. And my mother was sick. I went to tell my mother, I'm traveling out of the country. I don't know when I'll be back. After telling her that within three days, she passed on. Because she loves me so much that she doesn't want to be buried beside me. So I postponed my journey and I stayed two weeks to do the funeral and everything. And after that, I was traveling from East to Lagos. Brethren, I saw death. Death was coming to me. I was driving. My vehicle lost control. In Nigeria, from Lagos to East, like going to Abagara, civilian buses. These buses, they go on high speed. One particular one was facing me face to face when I lost control because it red. When I applied brake, my vehicle slipped. And it was facing the vehicle face to face. I don't know how it happened. I just sweep my hand and I was going to the bush, the vehicle passed. I sweep again, I was on the road. That was the first one. I was carrying one of my cousins and he was holding me in my hand and my family was behind. So God saved me that point. I was supposed to continue the journey. There's a place we call Pini Bypass. Very, very dangerous place. Some people who know that place. It's a very hill journey. I was still driving. The same thing that happened first happened again. My vehicle slipped. There are these big lorries, they call 911, they carry load. This one was heavily loaded. It was taking one way and my vehicle was coming. Brethren, I saw my death with this vehicle. I don't know what happened. The same thing that happened, the vehicle was to crush me and my family. That's how God did it. I screamed again and that vehicle passed. I came out to the road again. If you see, if, if you witness it, people that were staying by the roadside, they all ran out to come and take it that something has happened. But to say this God that we serve here, he said, no, I'm not, I will not die. That is why I'm standing here today. Whenever they say share testimonies, I remember that situation that I passed through. I said, no, I won't share the testimony because God saved my life and he will continue to save me till the end of my life. Amen. Then when I came to finally landed in this land of Qatar, <laughs> like the pastor said, this church started small. I started small from this Qatar. I give God the glory because where he took me to, where he placed me, where he gave me a job, finally gave me a job, 99.99% are people from one particular country, the people who say the I people. But God placed me on top of a section in that place. And since then, there have been battles and battles and battles. But when I came to Martin and Fire Miracle Ministry, I met that and I told God, you are the one that made me to be in that place. Nobody will sack me until the day I said, I don't want to walk here again. I resign by myself. Brethren, this church is eight years today. In that campaign, I've been eight years and eight months. Not in my so, When I remember all these things, it is not by my own power. It is only God that we serve here that kept me there and keep on taking me to the high places. I said, I must come out to share my testimony. And apart from that, my family, God has been so bad. They always come and go. He has protected them. I have not had any problem with my family. My children are growing. In fact, yes, uh, two days back, my, my son, my first son, went to, uh, to write his post jam. It is God's grace. Not by my own power. So, there are so many things. If I continue to share my testimony, we will not live here today. So, I want to tell the church, let us rise up. On behalf of my family, the church, as at this church, like Pastor is saying, I was here 
when the church was so little, and God kept me here, and the church is growing. Look at the number of people here. When I see the church like this, I feel very happy. And I want all of us to rise up and shout, Seven powerful, hallelujah to the God of might. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me just add a little to his testimony. And I'm sure you remember, they called him in their office. They wanted to remove him from that position. And they said they are going to transfer him to India. Am I right? Yes. Eh? Yes. So he told me, I said, uh, it's a lie. It's a lie of the death. Because if you are so important to us here, no power can transfer you. We settle it in prayer. And I told him, don't worry, just go ahead and do your work. They tried to get visa for you. Am I right? It failed. And pray for somebody. Every power assigned to transfer you from your place of glory shall die by fire. Yeah. You know, they want you to transfer you. To, if you transfer somebody from Qatar, a place of being an only to India, what does it mean? Eh? You can imagine. I pray again for somebody here. Any power assigned to transfer you from your place of glory, from where you are drinking your milk and honey, that power shall die by fire. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And that he has said it all, and I know that for sure what he has decreed to our life shall come to pass in the name of Jesus. Amen. Pray it. Hallelujah. Amen. I just make the church for three minutes. Hallelujah. Amen. Just three. Hallelujah. I see Jesus seated on the throne. I see his angels descending everywhere. I see the spirit fixing us again hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne I see Jesus seated on the throne I see Angels descending everywhere. I see the spirit fixing us again. Hallelujah to the Lamb upon the throne. For you are the fire, and I am the sacrifice. Consume me, Lord. Continue, Lord. Hallelujah. I have uh, lots of testimonies to share with you today. I insisted that my daughter share her testimony. And one of the reasons is because uh, during the 70 days fasting and program, uh, I, 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 one of my prayer points was, Lord, help my children uh, in their academics. And when I start seeing my daughters getting married from, from school, uh, I believe that God is answering my prayers and let her see herself and testify for what God is doing. Hallelujah. But that, that is not my testimony. Uh, my testimony starts from spiritual aspects down to physical things. Every year, uh, the pastor and I will sit down every end of the year. It's a routine for my life. Uh, you can copy it if you want, but I said I'll release it today. But every year, pastor and I will sit down and we discuss and will ask me, Brother Eric, what are your spiritual goals for the next year? And, uh, and this year, one of my objectives spiritually was, Lord, I give you my time. And, and, and you must understand, some of you must have realized, uh, you may wonder whether I stay here, I sleep here, or but have given God my time. Because uh, then you can tight your money, you can tight other things, but then when you begin to tight your time, everything around you, Jehovah takes over. Hallelujah. So I believe that when I begin to tight my time to God, I 
sometimes I am weak. Sometimes my brothers they will come to me and say, Brother Eric, courage, courage, courage. But then I say, Father, this is for you. This is this is my life, I hand it over to you. Sometimes my wife, my family will complain, the kids are not seeing me, but I say it's only for Jehovah. Hallelujah. And because I begin to give God my time, Pastor told me, say, wait, God will answer you. Hallelujah. And I want to say in my life, I've been seeking the face of God, as some of you may know. And when I seek the face of God, this year, spiritually, things have been happening to me. I've had many revelations I've shared with the pastor, and he's been praying for me. And things that I see, things that I speak in the lives of people are coming to pass. And I say, it's just by the grace of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's just by the grace of God. Now, why I want to testify about me being God is helping me spiritually is because sometimes these things you, you may neglect. But uh, one of the things I realized this year was uh, in the previous years, I normally do the 70 day fast, but I will miss three days. I, how many people can bear witness with me? Some people know what I'm talking about. I will miss maybe one week, I will miss maybe three days or four days. But this time, the leader started a 21 day fast before the 70 days. I came up and pastor and said, Pastor, take it easy. Uh, we just finished uh, 21 days and then now uh, we are including uh, 70 days. Uh, are we going to go? In fact, my stomach was almost here. I was like, Pastor, I have decided to be thoroughly, but please take it easy or else it's not very well with me. Even my wife was telling me, eat. I said, no, I'm fasting. Ah! But God help me. This is not fun. God help me. Because I was I'm saying, Father, I cannot do it. I cannot do this 70 days. I can help me. And to God be the glory. When uh, when he was 69, I said, Hey, this thing I've done it. And I give God the praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. But it's not easy. I'm not saying that these things are easy, brothers. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that when you purpose yourself to do what God has asked you to do and seek his face that he gives you the will he will give you that energy and that capacity to do it that's my testimony now I want to testify I know many people are waiting to hear this I want to testify for God's promotion in my life now there's promotion in every area in my life my wife is having a job she's moved from one place to another she's had the certificate she's having another one it's an increase from that side there's also an increase in my life because every time somebody in the audience comes up to testify i am so appreciative of god for their life why because if god is doing it for them they will not miss me hallelujah when God is doing it for them, I say, Oh, Father, I thank you for this brother. I jubilate for this sister. I know that God is in this church. Maybe by adventure, he will come behind the seat and say, Okay, there's brother Eric. Let's do something for him. And it is my time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the reason I say this is because Pastor and I know, many times, even before we start the service, I always come here on Wednesdays, and I just fall on the altar. And I just begin to pray and I begin to pray. Every time I just come and he's asked me anything, I said, no, let God do what only he can do in my life. And recently, Pastor told me, God, Eric, something is coming in your life. Something is about to happen. Just wait for it. Just wait for it. Believe God. I said, I believe God. You know I believe God. He said, just believe God. So recently in the office, uh, I was called up. My manager called me. He said, uh, Eric, that was like three, three weeks ago. He said, Eric, I have to do something for you. Amen. I said, what can you, what will you do for me? He said, I have to do something for you. I came and told pastor, I said, they said they have to do something for me. Pastor said, they must do something for you. Because you are giving your services to God, God will move their hearts and they will do something for you. Amen. The pastor was praying for me. And then the week after, he said, Eric, we must do something for you. My mother said, I said, why are you always calling me and telling me I have to do something for you? This week, we must do something for you. What will happen next week? I have done something for you. Okay, I'm waiting. So, in the, on, uh, on Wednesday, my manager called me. He said, uh, Eric, the company has, uh, has approved that you should be promoted to a senior reservoir engineer. And I think God will do whatever he has done in my life. I bless you. It's not because of this time. Before his testimony, 
let me just share this because uh, if I did not share, there are so many people uh, uh, raising up their hands now. But please, can you write it for us? And then send it to us. We will, you know, give your testimony in due time. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want to appreciate the Lord because the Lord has been so good. Brethren, 2013, I joined this church as a single man. And I bless God today. I'm a father of children. And people who say when you have numbers of children, then Qatar, you cannot stay. But God has been sustaining us. God has been doing it. God is so faithful. I say may his name alone the praise. In the course of the 70 days prayer and fasting, I bless God. Because even now, uh, I think in my office, the office I have, we have two. And somebody used to make this their incense. And uh, each time I work late night and I even mana waters, I connect online in the office. But God did wonders. And God changed my office from that place. I say may his name alone the praise. I thank God because everybody is praying. I believe it's everybody's prayer that God should heal the earth. I thank God because that happened as well. It's part of my prayers and testimony. I say may his name alone the praise. I bless the name of the Lord for all he has been doing for us, my family. If I count myself to this prayer and fasting request, the Lord has done them. I return all glory to him. I say may his name alone the praise in the name of Jesus.
guys are wonderful choir. They have done really, really well. God continue to bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Right there where you are, beloved. We are about to listen to our Father and the Lord. There is one thing I want you to understand today. From the first day I met my father and the Lord, and I saw him on the pulpit ministry, from that day I decided to join Mountain of Fire. This was in 1994. From that day. Where I was coming from, I have never in life had that kind of message in my life. The message my father and the Lord gave that day, I can never forget it. I have never had it in that part, in that manner. And from that day, my life turned around. My life turned around till today. Praise the name of the Lord. So God of MFM is a special God. God of Dr. Daniel Olukoya is an uncommon God. So I want you to rise up on your feet now and sing this song to him. He has done some things for me and he's going to do more for me. So if you believe truly that that God can do more for you, sing this song with me loud and clear. Sing it with fire and with power. The God of heaven, he has done it before. He might die in your life. He will do it again.
On behalf of my wife and family and myself, we congratulate you for your 8 year anniversary in Qatar. God bless you. We thank God for your wives, we thank God for your pastors, we thank God for all the workers in the church, we thank God for all the members of the church. The Lord will continue to move you forward mightily. Amen. His glory will fill your life in a new way. Amen. As we are celebrating this eighth year anniversary, greater things, newer things, better things will continue to happen in your life in the name of Jesus. Amen. The glory and power of God will overshadow you mightily Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. And this time next year, Jesus carries in his coming, you will be a bigger bundle of testimony. Amen. God bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And as you listen to this message and as you pray today, you shall have uncommon breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Happy anniversary once again. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Those who hate you will come to your thanksgiving service in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Any vampire power that stand against you shall die. Amen. And every instrument of darkness that stand against you shall backfire in the name of Jesus. And whether the devil likes it or not, the God of Elijah shall silence your silences. The God of Elijah shall silence your silences. The God of Elijah shall silence your silences. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The man that mocked you shall turn around to congratulate you. In the name of Jesus. Any pit diverting your benefits shall be closed up by the power in the blood of Jesus. Any peace that back to your benefits shall be closed up by the power in the blood of Jesus. And any strong man assigned to disgrace you shall be disgraced. Any strong man assigned to disgrace you shall be disgraced. In the name of Jesus. As you are celebrating, God will turn your worst time to your best time. And the sound of your life shall not listen to the voice of this Christ. You shall arise and shine. You shall arise and shine. You shall arise and shine. In the name of Jesus, I decree upon your life and the decree of the Almighty that those who laughed at you before shall come to laugh with you. In the, name of Jesus. the finger of God shall arise and rewrite your family history. The finger of God shall arise and rewrite your family history. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And as many people as a sign against your life shall be turned to pieces by the power of God in the name of Jesus. And listen to this too. Any ancient chain that has tied you down shall be broken. 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 In the name of Jesus. And I decree upon you, right there where you are, that the progress you lost, the years you lost, the joy you lost, the empress you lost shall be restored unto you in the name of Jesus. You shall be restored unto you in the name of Jesus. And any enemy assigned to terminate you, you shall bury that enemy in the name of Jesus. And any part that does not want you to be alive, they shall replace you in the cemetery in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Glory be to the name of the Lord. Say this song loud and clear. Be thou exalted, O Lord, and no more than I am. Be thou exalted, O Lord, and no more than I am. Let thy glory be our own. Let thy glory be our
free that bondage and death will not give you a call. Yeah. This year, I decree that powerlessness and sickness will not flash you. Yeah. This year, I decree that sorrow will not send you a text message. Yeah. will not come to your camp. Yeah. I decree that your prayer will not enter into every voicemail. Yeah. Your will be in that. You will vibrate with joy. Yeah. And your prayers will be wet and dead. Yeah. Listen, beloved, life is a kingdom of choices. Yes. So the best thing to do is to doubt your doubt and have faith in God. You serve a God that sits at the center of the universe. Oh, yes. You serve a God who knows the number of gallons of water in every nation. Oh, yes. You serve a God who knows the number of the sand upon the seashore. Yes. When God speaks, His voice becomes a decree that all demons must obey. Yes. The world was created with spoken words. And everyone is ready to even recreate whatever is missing in your body. Amen. Therefore, I come against every voice that speaks against you from anywhere, whether shrine or coven or altars, in the name of Jesus. Amen. I speak unto all those voices Amen. that have been speaking against you, and they shall speak no more. 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 In the name of Jesus. The kind of prayers I want you to pray today is not ordinary prayers. Yes. Bartimaeus did not say his prayers. He cried his prayers. When there is power, there will be no struggle. Yes. I'm praying for somebody listening to me today that by the time you finish this service, your testimony shall be awesome. Yes. Amen. 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 In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Yes. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Let's take our Bibles. And open the Bible to the book of John, chapter 1, verse 46. It is my turn to testify. John, chapter 1, verse 46. And Nathaniel said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. And Nathanael said unto him, Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Philip said unto him, Come and see. The enemy is throwing this evil person at many this day. What an evil cry. It is a cry against destiny. Can there any good thing come out of this person? Can this person change the family history? Say, so Can there any good thing come out of Nazareth? Why Nazareth? A small Bible study will answer the question. In Genesis chapter 49, verse 13, it says this, Zebulun shall dwell at the heaven of the sea, and it shall be for the heaven of ships, and his brother shall be unto Zidon. Jacob had twelve sons, Reuben, Levi, Simeon, Judah, Joseph, Isaac, Dan, Benjamin, Asher, Gad, Nephtali, Zebulun. When Jacob was blessing his children and giving them inheritance, among the list of the inheritance is that given to Zebulun. Zebulun was the sixth and last child of Leah. When Jacob was forced to marry after seven years of slavery, he was told that his descendants would be those who will dwell by the sea at the very edge of the land of promise. So Zebulun was given an area of land that was near the Sea of Galilee. It was a very low inheritance. While the brothers of Zebulun received inheritances that included mountains, fertile lands, and pasture land that would support sheep and cattle, all the tribe of Zebulun received was an address. His land was next to the sea. His land cannot grow anything or produce much profit. His brothers appeared to be more prosperous. His family appeared the new culture, they have old language, they are unlearned, they are uncultured, with little or no chance of achieving success. Let me say that again. Those who came from Canada are said to be behind time. They lack culture, they have old language, they are unlearned, they are uncultured with future and choice of achieving success. So Nazareth was a town of Galilee, 
and Nathaniel was in Galilee. This Nazareth had 11 houses and just one street. Nazareth had the worst reputation of any town in Galilee. Population more than 2,000, but a large population of Gentiles. The name Nazareth was not respectable. The name Nazareth was not admirable. It was not honorable. It was spoken with disgust. God. I mean testimony that cannot be explained. I mean a testimony that will make people to stand aside and watch. I decree and I prophesy into your life that your testimony of come and see must manifest, 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 must manifest in the name of Jesus. A come and see testimony is a testimony that will make people to shout endless hallelujah. A testimony that will show your God as a God who recognizes no impossibilities. A testimony that will show your God as a man of war. A testimony that will prove that you serve a God that answers by fire. A testimony that will rewrite your family history. A testimony that will invite people to come and still look at you. A testimony that will make people to publish your story. A testimony that will make you a divine phenomenon. A testimony that will make your enemies to celebrate with you. That is come and see testimony. Your come and see testimony must manifest in the name of Jesus. Your come and see testimony must manifest in the name of Jesus. Your come and see testimonies must manifest in the name of Jesus. I declare right now that any organ absent in the body appear now in the name of Jesus. Appear now in the name of Jesus. I decree triple promotion upon you. I decree double promotion upon you. Let your promotion begin to manifest in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree that your body must defy biology and medicine. And when they say it's not possible for you, even upon physicians, then that could be healed of him. Came behind him and touched the body of his garment, and immediately an issue of blood stopped. And Jesus said, You touch me. When all denied, Peter and the other of Jesus said, Master, the multitude throng thee and praise thee, and says, Thou will touch me. And Jesus said, Somebody had touched me, for I perceive that virtue is gone out of me. And when the woman saw that she was not hid, she came trembling. And following that before him, she declared unto him before all the people for what cause she had touched him. And now she was healed immediately. And he said unto her, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith hath made thee whole. Go in peace. You need to touch Jesus. You need to touch just like this woman with the issue of blood. Her testimony was a testimony of common sin. She touched Jesus. The woman's touch had eight things which we must put into action. Her touch had eight things. Number one. A touch at desperation. We must grow up in desperate prayer. Number two, a touch at determination. We must be determined that we must have our breakthrough. Number three, a touch at faith. We must have violent faith in our heart that our story has to change and that our testimony must manifest. Number four, a touch at expectation. Number five, her touch had knowledge. She had knowledge that this man is the son of God. If I touch him, I will make whole. Number six, her touch had violence. The violent take it by force. Seven, her touch had hope. Eight, her touch had courage. These are the eight things you must bear in mind today. So that you too can be a candidate of uncommon testimonies. Touch him. Let your touch have the seven characteristics of the touch of the woman with the issue of blood. The first thing to do then is to surrender your life to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you have not done so before. But I want to give you that opportunity. If you are here to surrender your life to Jesus, say what I'm going to say after now. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, 
Come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name, amen. For said I should pray with me, I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children who have surrendered their lives to Jesus today. Let your hand be upon them for good. Keep them standing by your power. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 It is time to pray now. I want you to roar a desperate prayer. Particularly if you believe God that you are the next person to testify. It is your turn to testify. Pray this testimony provoking prayers. Pray from your heart. Pray like a man or woman who is not ready to take no for an answer. Powers. Powers. you my celebration. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. I bury you in the name of Jesus. I bury you in the name of Jesus. have been mocking me before. I bury you now in the name of Jesus. Stubborn enemies against each other. In the name of Jesus, oh God, I turn my stubborn enemies against each other. In the name of Jesus, yes, in the name of Jesus, I turn your stubborn enemies against themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Let them destroy themselves. Let the stubborn enemies destroy themselves. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus, mighty name we pray. Assigned to swallow my success. Backfire in the name of Jesus. I was assigned to swallow my success. Backfire in the name of Jesus. I was assigned to swallow my success. Backfire in the name of Jesus. I was assigned to swallow my success. Backfire in the name of Jesus. I was assigned to swallow my success. Backfire in the name of Jesus. Backfire in the name of Jesus. I was assigned to swallow my success. Making you shed secret tears and receive solution today in the name of Jesus. You have been sad, and the enemy has been making you sad. But the time to sing your song and dance your dance has come. In the name of 
revenge. Since at the enemy is also upon you, making it difficult for you to achieve, you begin to achieve them now. Ten days on this program, your miracles shall be outstanding. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Can you shout this loud and clear? Where is the Lord God of Elijah? Be a voice for me where I have no voice in the The next two prayers yes. should be prayed with violence and with fire. Oh, so any power, any power. assigned to turn the works of my hand to battles, die in the name of Jesus. Of the living God, arise, arrest every power sitting on my sweater. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the living God, arrest every power sitting on my sweater. In the name of Jesus, in the name of the living God, arrest every power sitting on my sweater. Pray this with fire and with power. Curses, sir. That find their way into my finances, sir. Break by fire. Stubborn spirit was back inside the womb. Let the power of God begin to evacuate them now. Yeah, yeah. Begin to evacuate them. Yeah, yeah. The power of God begin to evacuate them. Yeah, yeah. There where you are, the power of God is coming upon you. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You are finished by drinkers of blood yeah. and eaters of flesh. Yeah. I command you to receive your deliverance from yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. In the name of Jesus. Yeah. 
a decree upon your life yes. that by the power that divided the Red Sea, oh, yes. the story shall change. Every arrow that you have received yes. from the cone of that lesson, I command the arrows to backfire. I command the arrows to backfire. I command the arrows to backfire. Person over there whose star has been stolen by the battle of the light, we cover that star now. We cover that star now. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Father, I thank you for your children who have gathered in this service. And I thank you for your grace and power upon their Bring three prayer requests before the Lord. Pray the other kind of prayer. That no voice is coming out, but the lips are moving. Bring your three prayer requests before the Lord now. Makita li kayabu shangarabura Darabu kapola katenda li kayabu koshende rabosa Bali katonda karibu kasetende keyabu shente in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I decree that the God that passed away by fire will answer all your prayers by fire in the name of Jesus. Answer all your prayers by fire in the name of Jesus. You shall testify. You shall testify. You shall testify. Your testimony shall show to your as In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Receive the power to go from strength to strength and from glory to glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 It is time to pray on the water now. Bring out the water. And let your amen roar like fire and like thunder. These are not ordinary prayers. These are prayers to convert what is in your hands to a spiritual weapon. A battle axe to move you to the next level. Let your amen roar like thunder as I pray. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for this water. We thank you for your grace, your love, and your care. We thank you because you are God that answered by fire. Father, in the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. And what said, let there be light, and there was light. Father, let your spirit move upon this water in the name of Jesus. Let your spirit move upon this water. Let your spirit move upon this water in the name of Jesus. In those days, oh Lord, you used to send an angel to trouble the water of Bethesda. And anyone who got into that water got healed. Father, let that angel trouble this water. Let this water become waters of healing deliverance. Jesus, let this water become water of deliverance, power, water of strength, water of glory, water of divine revelation, water of divine breakthrough, healing, power, water of divine vitality, water of divine sanitization, water that will bring resurrection power, water that will bring energizing power, water that will bring invigorating power, water that will bring a yoke of breakthrough power. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Water destroy covenant and curses. Yeah. Yeah. Let us damage every evil spell. Yeah. Jesus, yeah. Yeah. of ease, yeah. anointing of glory, yeah. divine immunity, yeah. divine protection, yeah. the cleansing power of God. Yeah. 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 Into this water in the name of Jesus. Let this water become a stabilizing power, yeah. 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 defeating power, yeah. Yeah. arresting power. Yeah. 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 Cause of fire that no one can understand. This will not become divine tonic, divine antibodies. This will carry the liberating power of the Holy Spirit. Let this water carry covert scattering power. In the name of Jesus, let this power destroy every stronghold that the enemy has built up. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the God of Elijah, let this water become the power of divine acceleration. I'm waiting to make us more than good news as evil. I'm waiting for supernatural expression. Let this carry the anointing for mysterious wonder. In the name of Jesus, let the power in the blood of Jesus flow into this water. Let the power in the blood of Jesus flow into this water. Let the power in the blood of Jesus flow into this water. 
the blood of Jesus flow into this water. Amen. The blood of Jesus flow into this water. Amen. In this water, carry fire. And the water that flows from Jesus' side that was pierced in the name of Jesus. Amen. And the water carry the fire of God. And the carry the thunder power of God. And the mountain moving power of God. In the name of Jesus. And the carry infirmity demolition power. Any power assigned to collect your gold and replace it with stones shall be destroyed. As you use this water, every hand snatching your benefits away shall be lost by fire. Amen. Jesus, as you use this water, the Lord shall silence all your mockers. Jesus, as you use this water, any night sacrifice over to the service shall be wasted. Amen. Jesus, as you use this water, the power of resurrection shall fall upon you. I dedicate, I consecrate, and I bless this water in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. God bless you in Jesus' name. It is time now to pray on the oil. Masika le karibu kapondia. Father, in the beginning, the Spirit of God moved upon the waters. Let your Spirit move upon this oil in the name of Jesus. Let this oil become the oil that will bring forth the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let this oil destroy every plantation of darkness. Let this oil cause mighty recovery. Let it cause mighty recovery. Let it cause mighty recovery. In the name let it wake up all the dead bones in the name of Jesus. I sanctify, consecrate this oil and I bless this oil in the name of the Father, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Now put some oil on your head. Put some oil on your head. I say this after me loud and clear. Say, by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ, I place this anointing oil on my head, which is the symbol of my destiny. Which is the symbol of my destiny. According to the word, my, my head shall be lifted up. My head shall be lifted up. my enemies around me. My head must succeed and prosper. My head must succeed and prosper. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A loud amen. amen. Place the anointing oil on your ear now. Your ear. Say this loud and clear. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I place this anointing oil on my ear. I place this anointing oil on my ear. A symbol of my listening and hearing. A symbol of my listening and hearing. According to the word of the Lord. According to the word of the Lord. My ear must hear the word of life. My my ear must hear divine secrets. My ear must hear good news. I shall not hear the voice of the enemy. I shall hear the voice of success. The voice of breakthrough. The voice of power. The voice of divine acceleration. In the name of Jesus. Now I want to hand. Say, by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ, by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ, I anoint my hand, I anoint my hand, which is the symbol of my labor, which is the symbol of my labor, with the oil according to the word of the Lord, with the oil according to the word of the Lord, 
I put my hands in the hands of the Almighty God. I put my hands in the hands of the Almighty God. Henceforth, my hands shall not be feeble. Henceforth, my hands shall not be feeble. My hands shall be strengthened. My hands shall be strengthened. My hands shall do great things. My hands shall do great things. The Lord will open his hands into my hands. The Lord will open his hands into my hands. And I shall be filled with good things. I shall be filled with good things. My hands shall do brilliant things. My hands shall do brilliant things. My hands shall not be slack or slothful. My hands shall not be slack or slothful. My hands must be diligent. My hands must be diligent. In the name of Jesus. I shall never experience poverty. I shall never experience poverty. My generation shall not be poor. My hands shall not labor in vain. My hands shall not labor in vain. And I will not be forced for trouble. I will not be forced for trouble. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I command my hands to receive fresh fire. I command my hands to receive fresh fire. Fresh fire. Fresh fire. In the name of Jesus. Now praise the Lord on your feet. Say, by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. I place this anointing on my feet. I place this anointing on my feet. I sanctify my work. I sanctify my work. My feet shall take me to great places. I receive the anointing to tread upon serpents and scorpions. I receive the anointing to tread upon serpents. According to the word of the Lord. According to the word of the Lord. Nothing in my enemies have hurt me. Nothing in my enemies have hurt me. I shall move by fire and by thunder. I shall move by fire and by thunder. And no power shall paralyze me. No power shall paralyze me. I shall not walk into danger. I shall not walk into danger. I shall not walk into slavery. I shall not walk into slavery. I shall walk every day in the presence of the Lord. I shall walk every day in the presence of the Lord. I shall walk every day in the presence of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the dominion power come upon my feet. Let the dominion power come upon my feet. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Now place this oil in your mouth. In my boat, I bring to you. Yes. So far, I place this oil in my mouth. As a symbol of the presence and power of the Holy Spirit. According to the word of the Lord. Father, let your living water flow through my body and sustain me. Let this oil speak this disaster, tragedy, and death to all diseases. Bring disaster, tragedy, and death to all diseases. They have destroyed all these bacteria, all these viruses, all these viruses are consumed in the name of Jesus. Every cancer cell is destroyed. All hormones are expunged. Every power of the enemy is taken away from my body. In the mighty name of Jesus, I receive a word of wisdom. That my enemies shall not be able to resist. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now apply the oil to any part of your body where there is infirmity. Apply it now. Any part of your body where there is infirmity. Say this after me. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let every organ of my body receive fresh fire. Receive new life. Receive new life. In the name of Jesus. According to the word of the Lord. According to the word of the Lord. Who says in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was with God. And the word was God. And the word. All things were made by me. Any organ of my body that needs to be replaced. Be replaced now by the resurrection power. Be replaced now by the resurrection power of the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. Now shout this prayer loud and clear. I plug my life. I plug my life. 
into the socket of the resurrection power. Into the socket of the resurrection power. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. Of the Lord Jesus Christ. I plug my life. I plug my life. Thank you. 
request in your hand. Uh, we are going to collect it as we give it to the ushers. We will send it to our Father in the Lord for more prayers. Praise the Lord. So, just give them to the ushers inside the... Uh, they will give you the offering bag. Just put it in the offering bag. Praise the Lord. If you are yet to write your own, you can see that. Just three. He said you should write three prayer requests, not four. Just write three and just put it there. If you have not written your own, you have time now to quickly write it and give to them. As you listen to this special announcement, praise the Lord. Listen carefully to me, beloved. Immediately after this program now, which we are going to share the grace, what will happen is that you will have to wait there. Everybody must wait behind. Everybody must wait. Number one, we are going to cut the cake. And we are going to And then everybody that we are going to pray on the cake, cut it, and we must take a piece of it. It is a branded cake. Praise the Lord. God will bless you as you do that. That's the anniversary cake. Then photographs. We have photographs for all, everybody that come to this program today. One, we have a photograph for the leaders, for the choir, for the ushers, for the technical crew, all the groups in the church. And then all the members of the church must take the photograph. Because we are documenting this and we are going to send it to our Father in the Lord. That's the importance. So please, Try and be patient and wait for the photographs and everything. Praise the name of the Lord. I will announce the last thing we are going to tell you, which is very important, before we go now. Now, beloved, let me tell you about our services. There is a program we hold every Monday called Power of Practical Praying. I would like to encourage you to join that program online from 7 to 7.30 every Monday. God bless you as you join in Jesus' name. In all our social media platform, then we have a program to our fellowship. We are dealing with divine protection every Tuesday from 7 to 8 p.m. And then, beloved, we have a program titled... Uh, Enough is enough program. It takes place every Friday after the first service, 11 a.m. to you know 11:45 thereabout. So, and then we have breakthrough cleaning program every third Friday of every month. It's for two days, from Friday and Saturday, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. for two days. So these are programs. Then we have a crossover vigil. Our crossover vigil for this month, month of uh, October to November, is Sunday. Praise the Lord. Uh -huh. Sunday night, let's join with the program, Possessing Your Possession. Possessing Your Possession is the title of that program. God will bless you mightily in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Father. All that glory must be to the Lord. For he is worthy of our praise. No man on earth should be glory to himself. It's a day of joy for us all. Our hearts are full of gratitude and joy that overflows within us as we recall the path that Martin of Fabricus Ministry, Dora Qatar, has traveled in the past eight years. We give thanks and glory to the Most High God who has been our refuge and strength, our God, the God of MFA. 
has been a reliable God, a trustworthy and dependable Father to us. His guidance, support, and provisions have helped us tremendously in the journey with Him. And this has led to an amazing success for us in this church. Beloved, today we say a big thank you to our spiritual father and our spiritual mother in the Lord, Dr. D.K. Ulukoya and Pastor Mrs. Shade Ulukoya for their support. We pray for more and more of his grace, strength and anointing for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. To all the ministers, the leaders, and members of MFM Qatar Church, all our guests that have come for this program, on behalf of my lovely wife and myself, I say thank you to you all. We appreciate you dearly for your prayers, your resources, and all efforts to ensure that the success we have recorded so far in MFM Qatar come to reality. The God that dwelleth on this mountain, aha, shall lift you, he shall promote you, Amen. he shall elevate you, Amen. he will enlarge your coast Amen. and expand your territory. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the blessing you have received today through this program, I decree it shall be permanent in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. it shall be well with you Amen. and your entire family. Amen. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Right there where you are, beloved. Let's rise up on our feet and stretch forth your two hands. Let your amen be super dynamic now. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Lord, I stand here as a servant by the power in the blood of Jesus, by the power that established the heavens and the earth, by the covenant power that established matter of fire and miracles ministry a place of solution and power by the anointing of God invested upon my father in the faith Dr. D.K. Lukoya I decree upon your life as you leave this holy ground now the God that we serve on this mountain shall surprise you Amen. in the name of Jesus Amen. your ears shall begin to hear good news Amen. you will not hear the voice of the enemy Amen. and every good opportunity you have lost shall come back with speed Amen. Hallelujah! 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 